Welcome to the Great HR How To Video Series. In this video, we will talk about how to view and add employee asset details from your Great HR account. An organization's success depends on its employees' ability to perform their tasks efficiently and effectively. To ensure that they have the necessary resources, organizations often provide assets to their employees. It's important to keep track of all these assets, both big and small so that inventory management is efficient, and the process of final settlement with employees is streamlined. This video will show you how to manage employee assets in Great HR. Navigate to the Assets page from the Employee Information section. On this page, you can add new assets, view details of the assets allocated to your employees, and edit or delete the existing assets. Select an employee whose details you want to view from here. The page will display the assets that are allocated to the employee. Click here to add a new asset to an employee. From the asset type drop down list, select the required asset type. You can always click the edit icon to add a new asset type to the database. Simply add the asset name and save the details, the new asset type is not added to the database. Enter the asset detail and ID in the asset details and asset ID text boxes. Enter the asset value and the valid remarks if applicable. Also, select the issued date from the drop-down calendar. Finally, click here to save the entry. If any details entered needs to be corrected, you can always edit or delete the entry by clicking here. Once you make the changes click on save or delete as per the requirement. It's important to ensure that they've returned all assets and that this information is recorded in the system. To make an asset returned entry, select the employee and click the edit button. Change the asset status to received and enter returned on date. Do not forget to save the changes. Once the asset is marked in the system as returned, the same can be issued to another employee. You can always manage your organization's assets from the asset group settings page. I hope this video was helpful in providing you with the details on how to view and allocate the assets for your employees. With that, we come to an end. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos.